second round of ArcNAP 2022 is on its way. I'm excited. I expect to be working hard, to get to work with my hands and to really explore kind of how nature's relationship to our, the architecture we make. I'm really much looking forward to working with like-minded creatives who also want to enjoy working with their hands and creating something for the public use. So the idea for my group's wind shelter is inspired by this leaf and now we're trying to make this possible to build because it's pretty organic shape. See how can we get the shape that we want mm -hmm. to get both the protection inside and uh, also the, the feeling that you want the uh, visitor mm -hmm. to get. It is important for the students to stay true to their ideas, to the concept. They need to make the decision and not the tutors. Working in this high tempo and quick, fast process is fun and it's challenging. It's a very good exercise uh, to help you just make decisions quicker and go for something and believe in something. <laughs> you hear the machines are running. It's a great creative atmosphere and vibe here. It's just super to see the, the designs coming to life. I feel really good. We have uh, come far. Uh, we just finished uh, the flooring and uh, it went perfect, <laughs> so we're happy. <laughs> so I feel calm today, we have it under control. It feels like we're in the middle of everything. We have to create multiple parts simultaneously and then hope that they fit together properly. Actually you will offset the surface. What you see is that they get more feeling with the material, more feeling with the machines. And it's also a sort of on-site making decisions. Uh, if something doesn't work, you also need to be creative. Okay, what is another solution? Going from like the drawing table to the real world has uh, been a challenge. Of course, it's a lot different. You can't make a magical cut in an angle like you can do in AutoCAD. Uh, so you have to like figure out smart shortcuts and different methods of making your visual appealing design work, <laughs> so that's the challenge. Uh, we're making glue lamp beams. These are just the veins of the leaf, the smaller ones, and then the stem was the first one we built. It's a great group dynamic. We have the jokers, the leaders, the, the workforces. Everyone's just contributing in their own way and you're learning from each other. It's been interesting. We've been um, working on simplifying the shape of this organic leaf. And now I think we have hopefully reached a shape that's able to build. It's kind of a trial and error process. <laughs> so it will be interesting. In just a day, the truck will arrive and the prefab phase will be done. So we have a lot to do, but I think we'll manage. No, we will finish this by tonight. A do or die, we will finish it by tonight. <laughs> We're putting up the horizontal supports for the facade shingles. And this is um, a section of the facade just to see how we should do the spacing and the angle of the different supports so we know how it's going to look like on the final final shape after this. <laughs> <See you. laughs> yeah, it went yeah. good <laughs> and uh, it didn't break when we were yeah. lifting it. <laughs> I think it looks very perfect. Yeah. So we're on site and uh, we um, put the bottom floor uh, on yesterday and then in some way we will get this roof up but I'm not quite sure how. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we'll see. So I think we'll definitely be busy these next couple of days we finished putting on the inner framework of our shelter and for the flooring we've been working on this herringbone pattern that is supposed to resemble the veins of the leaf and so it's a bit challenging getting all the angles right but it looks pretty nice so far. Today is the last day of building. I think definitely the hardest part will be like how to finish off the top of the, the cocoon. It's always a question how to get up there and also to make it safe and to make it look good because we uh, 
put a lot of time into the project so far, so we want a nice ending as well. Yesterday was very stressful. Uh, today I feel like uh, we're gonna finish in time, so now we have time to do some details and like fix the last pieces, which is really nice. And uh, yeah, just feels very good that it's um, coming to life now, finally. Yeah, it feels unreal to, to be here two weeks ago, finding a leaf and just making a little quick sketch. Uh, and now, like, now it's here and I didn't expect it to be like this, but it's even better than I expected. So. I'm very happy, I'm pleased. It's the first time you're making something like this and like something in one-to-one -one scale. It's been hard to visualize. It's something else, so it's, it's a good feeling, I guess. <laughs> I think it's a great, uh, great way to learn because, uh, well, you gain confidence from it. You realize that uh, like most problems can be solved. There's lots of things that we thought, oh, we'll solve that later. And then when the problem came up, we solved it. Um, so you took quick decisions and we trusted each other and it worked out. It feels almost impossible that it's actually here now. It feels like we've been here for a year but it's only been two weeks building. But yeah, it feels great. <laughs> but it's also, I want to sleep. <laughs> when you did the last screw, you were like, oh, so what's the next part that we have to fix before it's done? And then there was nothing. And then it was like a weird feeling of, Oh, okay, now it's, it's standing there and we did it and um, yeah, it's cool, but it's also a little bit empty, I guess. So when I applied for ArcNet, I was very intimidated by looking at all the cool shelters in the website. I was questioning myself, like, will I be able to make something like that? Do I have it in me? But it turns out when you are placed in this situation, uh, anything is possible. When you have 20 heads around you giving you ideas and support so I say just apply like you will surprise yourself.